it's the little bubble world of the bubble world created by low frequency, right? Right. It's a low frequency yeah. bubble world. And that bubble world's real to you and very important, right? Mm-hmm. But if you were to connect with your Gaia, Gaia is not that. Right. Mm-hmm. That bubble world is a high frequency world, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And of course, you know, we create our own bubbles. So mm-hmm. it's like the bubble of connection. And we spoke a little bit about that in a previous pl- uh, podcast, I think, with the the deserted woods and then suddenly these deer and bucks and all sorts of creatures coming out of and into it, remember? Yes. It's it like, was automatically called that one. Yeah. yeah. On Woko Me Now. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, monthly call. call. So it was not yes. in the first. Okay. Maybe you should share it. Yeah. Share that story. That's so pretty should, good. Share, yes. It's called a bull. Huh? It was a bull elk. A bull elk. Yeah. <laughs> and one was a buck. Yeah. Same sorry. place. Wait, buck. Yeah. So in this story, it's like, I can't remember. We're coming home. We're coming home. Yeah. In the evening. And the forest was silent. And it felt, I was looking at, into the forest because Larry was driving and Looking into the forest and it felt deserted. Empty. Empty. It's almost like dead. Yeah. Deserted, right. like a desert, a yeah. desert forest. A desert forest. No life. No life in it at all. And it was like almost like a a veil around it, you know, like a foggy emptiness. Yeah. And I was looking at it going, whoa, what happened? What happened? I don't understand how. What happened to the forest? And I was projecting all sorts of things into it, right? Mm. I was projecting chemtrails are killing everything and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then as I was asking, I usually get a response. And I'm one of those individuals on earth who were born with a capacity to hear differently than other people. So I do have the capacity to hear from our larger selves and what I would call Gaia, right? So in that instance, in okay. it, oh, are we still here? No, I think we got disconnected. Oh, we're back. I think yes. we're back. Okay. So I was looking at the forest and like, I don't know how much you heard, but I have the capacity. I was born with the capacity to hear differently to other people. So let's say I was hearing experiential telepathy, hearing Gaia. Right. Mm-hmm. And Gaia said, showed me the image of a massive, ginormous, majestic wave on the ocean crushing against some rocks and I was like whoa that is beautiful right and I could hear it like really loud and everything right and then she said or expressed this making a lot of noise right I said yes and then the same thing happened again and it was completely silent and it says a deaf man experiences this. The whole thing happened, but it's no sound. The same mad giant wave crashing into the giant rocks, but no sound, silence, complete silence. Mm-hmm. And the question was, just because the, the, the deaf man cannot hear it, does it mean that that wave doesn't have sound? Mm-hmm. And I said, no, no, it doesn't. It does have sound. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> right. And I was like rolling my eyes going, okay. And I was looking at the forest. So I can't see the life because I'm deaf to life or something like that. Yeah. And then we turn into our driveway, our driveway or a private road that goes up like a mile. And there's this giant bull yes an elk bull with the horns and everything giant 
Humongous, like moose size. There, or standing there in the middle. Looking right at the road, you. Looking at us. Gone. What, what the, are you doing on this road? What are you doing in the forest? You can right? see me? <laughs> yeah. And then it's like bolts towards our house. Jogging right? up the road mm-hmm. to our house. And we start Could driving it, behind it. it. I was trying to take photographs of uh, um, a film, but with the phones, you know, the perspectives like it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. So you see work. a tiny little thing in the background. It's a little bunny it's rabbit. Huge, right? It's like giant. It was it was like you know how giant things move. They're like ka-tung, 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 yes. ka-tung, ka-tung, ka-tung. you could tell it's massive, right? Yes, yes. So it's massive and it started and it jogging like, up the road in front of us, looking back every now and then. Come on, let's go. And then it goes into the forest and vanishes. Okay. One millisecond. Millisecond of into the forest. Gone. No sign of it. No sign, no sound, no nothing. sight, nothing. Nothing. We, we were actually stopped the car. Looked to see. Looked He's probably in there looking him. at us and was like. Couldn't see him. No, nothing. No. And then the message again, I mean, the communication with Guy, a message received. Just yes. because I can't see this life, it doesn't mean it's not there. It's huge, majestic, and all those same words, right? Mm-hmm. That with mm-hmm. the way, huge, majestic. Larger than life, all these things, full of life, full of sound, right? All the things. It says, okay, so it's not that the forest is empty and lacking of life. It's that I can't see it. So there must be an adjustment to make. Mm. We're falling behind or something. That's how it felt to me. Mm. And Gaia is reminding us, hey, 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 come on. You need to see this. You need to stay connected. 